Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be having an overview of my entire collection and who's friends with whom, uh, what subgroups there are, and I'll also be showing all the new additions to it and naming all of the characters that are here right now as well as telling you uh, what things are what things are there for just for now. <laughs> Uh, let's start on the left with this fellow. Uh, his name is Jill. He is a um, Dole Chateau serial head on one of their adult bodies. Uh, it's the one with the extra ankle and wrist joints, but it does not have the extra neck joint. Uh, he is an archer and he's a traveler and he's a part of the adventure party with um, Shana. Shana is a risen soul fae. Uh, she is a mage, and she and Jill meet at um, when she gets uh, when she gets um, when she becomes a part of the adventure party. I'm still missing uh, at least one character to that party before I can actually start taking proper photo shoots with them. Uh, Jill is not familiar with any of the other characters except maybe Aina here, her. I am not sure though. Um, they might have met once or twice, but they do not uh, they do not know each other actually. Uh, the other all of the the next party I'm gonna tell you about is these two. They are they are Alisair. And Dia. Uh, these two are uh, a part of the uh, traveler party. Uh, they are uh, um, traveling in a caravan where all of their race uh, people that I have here are have been born. So Shana, Alisair and Dia all know each other. Um, Alisair is um, Shana's superior and her teacher and Dia is a hunter and uh, she sometimes works with Alisair and has a giant crush on him. <laughs> um, these two, the Traveler Party people, uh, I, they, they don't actually have a story of their own at the moment, though I am planning on giving them a slight romance story at some point. I am not sure. Let's see how it turns out. Uh, the next party is um, the family, which contains Aino, the big sister, she's a Zal Rabia, she's a herbalist. She takes care of her uh, little sister, Vilja, who is a uh, um, Dolmor Narsha. And Twisp, who is not actually related to them, but is considered to be a part of the family nevertheless. They live in the woods outside of town, uh, they are mostly self sufficient. And they have their own story, of which I'm going to tell more about in another video. Uh, they, the dragons, uh, the posable dragons, this blippy one and the bit bigger one, they're actually the same character and they are related to uh, the family story. Then on the bottom, I'm just going to have to... Bottom here, oh, yep. I have um, I have another trio. Uh, they are the crew of cu curious creatures. Actually, only she and him. They they are only actually a part of this crew. Uh, this little kitty is not, but it's um, she's residing with them currently because her sister is not yet arrived. I am waiting on. Um, guardian for her, uh, but basically, uh, well, he is an Imbledoll Martin, and I have made the spider body, and I have made him a face up and everything. I have a, uh, I have some videos about the making of him, in case anyone's in interested in that. And then I have here uh, the Dolce Toe Letitia event doll that I got when I bought Gil. Um, she is, yeah, she does not have a name yet, um, I'm not sure if she even knows how to speak, but basically um, Oswald is taking care of her 
at the moment. But yeah, that's um, that's my doll party for now. Um, I have I have uh, an addition coming to the adventure party. Uh, her name is Rose. I've had the character shell before, but I got rid of the uh, doll because, well, uh, the doll was too small and she needed to be more Amazonian. So she's getting reshelled in um, an Imple doll Alma. But all of these characters reside in the same universe. They are a part of the same world. They are correctly scaled to each other. And yeah, um, how it works is that these three are a different race. They are supposed to be shorter. And these two are children. Aina is a pretty short, pretty short, like a young lady. And Gil is very monstrously tall person. Uh, I think the scale works out, though I am hoping to get a character to be somewhere in between I know and Gil's height to sort of tie it all together because now the uh, size difference is very very large. Uh, it is realistic, I have seen pictures of people having a similar uh, size difference but it still looks kind of off when photographing stuff. I think also getting the ankle and wrist joints of Gil will help a lot as it'll make him a bit shorter and I'm not a fan of how the wrist look, uh, wrist um, joints look anyways, so it's going to be a nice addition. I'm just uh, in the process of trying to find a wig for him, as well as a wig for Aina, and I need also some S-hooks. When I got the, get those three things, I think this crew is, uh, entire crew is about to get ready, because then I can make uh, Jill's face up, and yeah. Everyone else is mostly finished. Uh, the only other one who is not finished is this lady, but I'm not sure what to do with her yet. I'm considering leaving her quite oh, light colored, and she might be some kind of a spirit rather than uh, rather than a corporeal being. So if she ends up being more lightly blushed, that might be also a thing. Uh, she also might need new eyes, but I'm kind of working on that as uh, as uh, the plots progress. I'm not in a hurry with that. But yeah, that's my overview uh, of the crew we have right now. If you have any wishes on what subgroup I should uh, take a closer look next, or which of the stories you would like to hear first, I am very happy to hear about that. We have the adventure party, we have the traveler party, we have the family, and we have uh, the curious crew of critters below. And then we have the kitty. Um, yay! But yeah, like I said, let me know about that. Until then, thank you for watching. Uh, have an awesome day. Bye bye!